<laughs> hey guys, welcome to an actual edition of the Hair is Drying Theater. I'm jumping on really quick because um, I've gotten such a huge influx of um, you know hate mail and stuff like that in my emails and um, on my. Sometimes I'll go through the gray DMs, right? So I was looking through there, and there's so many people saying so many nasty things that I was thinking some of you guys might be dealing with the same thing. And you know, first off. To the, to the roly trolls, um, honestly, that stuff says more about you, you know, than it says about the version uh, of me or whoever that you've created in your head because you don't, you don't know us. You don't know the people you're trolling. You only know your projection of us. And um, when I get trolled for my age, it just what, me, what it makes me think on a psychology level is, gosh, so, so very many people are afraid of aging <laughs> or what they're going to look like at my age is what I get from your, your, um, trolley DMs. You know, it doesn't reflect anything on me because you just have to picture me saying, um, have you seen me? <laughs> I take care of myself. So you can't say shit about me, uh, that way. That's going to make me feel dot, dot, dot. Being alive is a privilege. Um, so, you know, I'm pretty stoked to be, uh, my age because I'm alive. Um, and I just want to jump on for some of you guys who are maybe not as assured at times as I am. Just to say you've got to understand the people who send those things. Um, you know what what they're what they're doing is you know just trying to take their power where they can in a very uh, welcome to the dollhouse '90s kind of way. You know they're kind of shitting on other people to make themselves feel better. Blah 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 blah. It's really like classic. You know what I'm saying? So when you send a trolley rolly. DM, you've got to know that you're outing yourself. That's literally all you're doing is outing yourself um, and your insecurities and your small mindedness. You know what I mean? Like, that's what it's giving off. And also, it lets me know some of you need a better hobby than, you know, watching uh, my every move or someone else's move on Instagram or whatever it is. You know what I mean? Like, I do other shit. <laughs> I do put up a lot, you know, put up a lot of my stories on here and I make little short films almost. That's how I look at some of my intricate stories. And as um, the fabulous writer slash actress Queen Cummings says, it's sort of like, I view those as almost like a Tibetan mandala painting where it blows away after 24 hours and it's gone. And it was just a meditative exercise. So, you know, besides that, I have a whole nother life you guys don't know about. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We don't always give all our secrets away, do we? So anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there and say for some of you who are dealing with trolls, who are saying terrible things about you, the best thing you can do is just not engage, right? Don't DM them back. I have blocked a bunch of people lately. I didn't used to do that, but now I am. I don't know. I don't give a shit. I still need shitty comments on my positive feed, so it's easier to block people. Also, some of you know, I had a stalker years ago, a 10-year restraining order, and um, that person went to jail because I am that bitch. <laughs> so maybe, <laughs> don't poke the bear, you know, too bad when it comes to that because I'm litigious and I'll put the whole brunt of the law on you. Uh, it fuck with me in a way that makes me feel unsafe. Uh, most of the DMs are just bullshit where I can tell, like, like, honestly, this is what I picture the person going, oh, my God, I'm not going to look. I'm going to be so old when I'm that age. I feel so shitty. I feel so small. That's what I, when I, when I read a DM, like, that's, that's the energy I hear behind it is you're a speck of dust who's trying to puff yourself up into a dust bunny, you know, and you can't touch this shit up here. Um, you want to, and you can't, and you're frustrated about that. So rather than creating a world, you know, for your own trolley rolls where there's actually people in it you can um, talk to and, and uh, be in relation with, you just like pretend shit on the internet, you know, that makes you happy. I, <laughs> you do's you. Uh, yeah, no, short for Jay says don't read the hate mail. I don't really. What happens is I do uh, every so often go through the gray DMs and in Instagram just because um, there's some, you know, people I'm not following who are interesting. And one or, you know, I followed a couple of people that have put DMs in there. So um, it's not for naught when you send a DM, right? Um, I don't always, I, I can't reply. Some of, I, I had a spate of time where someone, I was clocking this person in the gray DM, so it was getting more and more and more aggro because I never answered them, right? <laughs> and by the end, I, you know, they were just calling me all sorts of names and a fucking old cow bitch and blah, 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 blah. And it's like, so you've got to understand, 
that when you send an email and you don't get a response um, and where your mind goes to by the end is to say all these horrible things that we can tell that by the very first high that you're creepy. <laughs> That's why we didn't answer you, motherfucker. <laughs> That's how that one goes. Um, all right, I'm looking for some questions. Um, Para, Paris with freckles says they mad. You look fine as fuck as you get older. Um, listen, I will say this. I like how I, I, I am not as young as I used to be. I don't have my young face. I don't have my young body. But I really like who and what I am now. <laughs> so when people are like, you're blah, 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 I'm like, uh, once again, just picture me saying, I'm sorry, have we met? Have you seen me? I'm doing just fine. So, you know, attempts to put me down that way are just weird. Um, and thank you guys. Most of you send such lovely compliments and stuff that I really appreciate you. And like I said, I really wanted to come on and say, uh, for those of you who are being hassled by online trolls, yeah, the best thing you can do is don't respond. <laughs> Don't, don't engage them. Um, and then in the end, you know, it's like if you're muted or blocked, I don't ever see your other shit. You can keep sending it. I'll never see it. If, uh, if anything should come to pass that's more threatening than that, the police will show up on your doorstep just like they did the other person who stalked me. So there. Um, okay, we're going down. Uh, 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 Basila Cadente says, I remember saying you don't want to be anyone's Maggie Mae. And when you tell that to guys who shoot their shots, they didn't get the reference. Yeah, I said that. Because <laughs> I tend to like, uh, my humor is very, very pop specific to my generation. So I do like to date people who are of my generation-ish. Uh, I'm not against younger men. I mean, I've opened up the field exponentially, <laughs> is what I'll say. You know, I just like nice people. You know, that's that's kind of it. I like kind, nice people, uh, non-judgmental, you know, open people, uh, guys to date. Um, Let's see. Um, so many of you, a couple of people are asking about like a half baked and this and that. You guys should send Dave Chappelle DMs like, do another half baked. Like, because he's the producer. I'm, I'm so sweaty, you guys. It is so hot here in LA. I know it's hotter in other places, though, but it's really hot. Um, okay. Uh, 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 uh. Songbird says, I've been busy with my life, missed you so much. Oh, hey, I haven't been doing too many lives lately. I've been doing more of these lives. You know, um, over on my Patreon, that's where I get into like what hair oils I've used and what blah, 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 all the stuff that's basically my blog lives on the Patreon now. Um, uh, people keep asking me about the craft remake. I hope it's great. That's what I keep saying. You guys, you guys are trying to get me to say something funky and I have nothing funky to say. I hope it's great. Period. Like, that's the truth. Um... Um, oh, hey, Nay, I'm so sweaty, you guys. Hey, Nay Ares. Um, it was really fun to be at BlurCon, too. I met so many, so many great people. Um, so jazz.lh says, anything someone says about you is truly a reflection of them. When people see how powerful you are, it highlights their inferiority and insecurity. That's true. You know what I'm saying? It's not just me. That's why I came on to talk to you guys about when you're hassled. Like, if someone's... Um, targeting you it really is like it just shows me that the trolls haven't studied psychology because they are literally giving away how terrible uh, they feel about themselves how insecure they feel about themselves how small i mean you know i don't feel small i think you guys can tell i feel small at times don't get me wrong i mean i'm not happy all the time at all i don't think anyone should be happy all the time i think you've got to process your feelings and your happy and your sadness and the the you know, juxtaposition of those two is what makes life go around. But I, I do have a good sense of self and I like myself. You know, I like myself. So there isn't too much anyone can say to make me feel to not like myself. Um, that's just the God's honest truth. And I want some of you to feel this way too. The more we sit up stronger in ourselves and our confidence, then, you know, it doesn't really matter if someone says something shitty or if someone doesn't want to date you. I mean, that's it's not even like I'm not even one of those people who's like they're an asshole it's their loss I mean it is their loss but what I think is like it has nothing to do with me their reasons have nothing to do with me you know like it may hurt my feelings or trigger me or whatever but you know those reasons are theirs um you know fatherhood 619 hello Rochelle yeah 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 how yeah do and I haven't seen you ever since the movie the craft you must not have been looking because I've done a shit ton of work since then um many tv shows many other movies writing a book now. I still exist. 
even when you don't see me. That's something I wish people understood about, you know, public figures is we exist <laughs> in our worlds, even when you don't see us. We're still doing our shit. And if you haven't seen me, uh, it's because you're not looking because I'm still right here and I've been working and I've been doing my shit. Um, you and me, Juice, 85, since you and Pharrell are ageless, is it witchcraft? I'm going to assume Pharrell's is because he has enough money to, you know, fucking buy the I, I can't a tears of angels and smear them all over his face. Uh, for me, I've said this before, I um, had a health thing and then worked hard naturally to get my body back to where I thought it should be. Did it naturally. I talk about that stuff on the Patreon as well. Um, 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 you know, that's just, I feel most of us can, through nutrition and exercise, pull shit back. Um, I, I've never done any, I have a filter on right now, but in general, I've never done any um, Botox or droop fillers or anything like that. I just tend to do it all with food. Uh, we'll see what happens in the future, but that's what I want to stick by. You know, even with my hair all broken off now, I, um, I probably won't get a fucking weave. You know what I mean? Like, it's just not my thing. It's not not my thing. I've worn them for uh, clip-ins for TV shows and stuff, but I just tend to live my life a little more naturally. Uh, and I just feel like I'll just suffer the consequences and deal with deal with my broken off hair because it'll grow. Um, everybody, you know, you guys are asking so many craft questions. Google that shit. I don't know what to tell you. I'm not the producer, writer, or anything of it. You gotta Google it to find out information on what's going on to the craft with the craft movie. Permi Mo, Permi Hunger. Uh, are you from South Africa? Did we talk the other day? What's the oldest and youngest man you've ever dated? Uh, I don't know. I, I dated a guy who wouldn't tell me his age. He was at least 10 or 15 years older than me. <laughs> it was weird. I don't know. It's a little weird. And um, I've dated a guy maybe 10 or 15 years younger than me. And it's fine, but weird too. Uh, I, like I said, I prefer a seven-year straddle on my age either way because then we get the same jokes. You know, they understand. If it's a guy who's seven years younger or older than me, it will tend to understand why I put up a Brady Bunch song today. A guy who's, you know, much younger than me um, wouldn't. Uh, I did meet a super cute guy who's too young. Um, <laughs> you know, if I was a dude, I'd be dating him right now because it's no big deal. But for me, I just prefer to kind of keep it. Like I said, in that seven-year uh, age thing. Allie Button! You're right. Hey, Allie Buttons. Um, you're right. Trolls have not studied psychology. I think you guys should. You would make you better troll. <laughs> Seriously, you troll better. <laughs> if you had some psychology background, you wouldn't give away all your own bullshit and let everyone know how it, what an insecure, small, you know, bit of dust you feel like if you had a basis in psychology. Also, if you had a basis in psychology, you probably wouldn't want to troll people because you'd know how stupid it is. Um, that's what I think. Allie Button says, love yourself. She's a friend of mine and she's right. It does come with appreciating yourself, you know? And um, we all have things about ourselves we'd like to change. We all have patterns of behavior, patterns of dealing with other people that are shitty. Me too. I'm working on them. That's what I say. Work on it. It's not about going, I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. This is not for the trolls. This is for you people out there who feel bad when someone attacks you. You know, most of us only feel bad when we're like, oh my God, is that true? Or I feel small or I don't know. Or I feel, and we like literally wearing a hair shirt, beating ourselves up. It's time to like, for me, I don't do that shit. It's not that I don't look at my behavior and go, that's fucked up. I need to work on that. I do. I just don't wear a hair shirt and carry around a burden of shame so hard that I can't breathe. That seems pointless. <laughs> To me, um, okay, listen, uh, someone's saying I look so young right now. It's because I have a fucking filter on. I do look pretty good for my, you know, for my years and stuff like that. My skin's held up pretty well. Uh, it's all the water and lemons, I think. But no, I, I'm, I look like a grown-up. I'm fine with that. <laughs> you know, like I started this off saying I am fine with aging, sort of. Oh, it's a little ego hard for everybody, but I'm fine with it because it means I'm alive. I had a brother who died at 28 of a seizure just like the, the, the Disney child who died recently. Um, he's not here. He's dead in 28th. I am happy to be alive. So there is zero out of zero you can say to make, make me feel bad about that. Also, my dad died and I'm 61. So, you know, what I know is time is precious. So all these things we're holding on to uh, 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 that are stopping us from getting what we want, you know, for me, I'm at the point where I'm like, oh, I got to dissect those because, you know, even for a Time Lord like me, I start to hear the, the, the drums, the time, the beating of the Time Lord drums, you know, time is marching on for everyone. So even if I just skip off to fairyland, time still passes here. I may still feel the same, but 
time has gone by, things have happened. So I do want to accomplish as much as I can with the time that I have on this earth, you know? And then I'm gonna come back and fucking haunt you bitches who sent me shitty comments. No, I'm not, I don't care. You won't be, you're not important enough to come back and haunt, that's the truth. You wish you were. Um, Cat Scratch Creative says also, it is the confident people who turn out to be the nicest. It's only insecure people who are jerks. Um, I think that's a little bit true, you know? I think uh, treat people the way you wanna be treated. That's what I do, so that's why I don't send you people out there, shitty comments about, you know, uh, trolley shit, because I, I wouldn't like that, so I would never do that to someone else, and I just feel like, you know, um, how we carry ourselves and the integrity we carry ourselves, the people can feel that energy before you even walk in the room, so people are um, sort of uh, backing away from you, maybe there's something in yourself, maybe they're fine, maybe it's you who needs to adjust your trolley attitude. How about that? Um, uh, 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 yeah, okay, you guys, I'm so sorry. I mean, I think I'm gonna jump off right now. I just wanted to come on and, and you know, just um, not rant, but, but is that Chloe Peckery? Is that Chloe? I just wanted to come on and um, say that and speak to you guys because some of you are not a confident actor who's used to this shit and used to being the public light and you get a horrible, email um, um oh wait hi bob listen to leon were you the bob ross person i got a picture with at the con you were great um but what i'm saying is i just wanted to speak out to some of you who maybe don't have the basis i have of being attacked all your life or belittled or stuff like that and have you know i have a pretty fairly thick skin on it uh that i want to um you know encourage other people to have because it does not matter even when some of you a lot of people send me emails about when well, my, my dad doesn't approve listen you're a grown up now. Your parents aren't going to approve of everything you do. As long as you are in integrity and you know it's the right thing for you, then that's what you should do is what you think is right. Um, and when you have to deal with shitty people online, it's probably best not to engage with them. But I just want to jump on and say, hey, okay, bye kids.